Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your December 2019 reading. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I'm going to start off with your energy oracle for the month. I realize I'm a little late, but better late than never. I'm really trying to get everyone's readings out as well as their 2020 readings. So after the energy, the general energy for the month, we're going to do your love life reading for singles and couples. And then I'm going to close this reading out with a message from the Heal Yourself Oracle card. And that is going to be the message of what does Capricorn need to release and heal from to release themselves from any blocks that may hinder you from having the best 2020 and whatever year beyond that, okay? So we'll get through that block that you may be having for those of you that feel that you do, okay? So I will do my best to try to timestamp below. Remember that this is a general reading and not all messages will resonate with everyone. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Never force a message to apply. So let's get to it, Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising signs. I want to take the time to thank you guys so, so much for all the love and support. And if you're new to me, welcome. I appreciate you guys stopping by. If you choose to, to subscribe, make sure you double tap that bell so that you get notified of new readings. So let's see, what is the overall energy for Capricorn? I feel like you guys have had kind of a weird year. As I sat here and I try to meditate and connect into your energy, I was getting like a mixed bag for you guys. Well, I just did Taurus too, so I was feeling a little bit of both. So if some of you have Taurus in your chart, there's a few things that you're struggling with letting go of. I also feel that for some of you, you put your energy, your focus onto something else so that you don't have to release yourself or release someone from your life release a particular part of your life uh, someone here is having a really hard time closing old chapters and that chapter may be dead and gone the end new series <laughs> to yeah new series there you know the next chapter in your life but there are some of you that are still grieving still trying to understand how you ended up, where you ended up. Look at that. Yeah. This has been a journey that I feel that, I don't want to say you've been resistant, like you're refusing to do it. But your resistance comes from releasing the old. Although you know that there is a certain part of your life, whether in your life in terms of spiritual growth, emotional growth, maturity, or releasing yourself from an old relationship, separation, not allowing enough time to heal from one relationship moving on to the next, not accepting that someone else has moved on. I feel that those of you that have had really tough time this year and trying to grow, you have felt an attachment to you. And so for some of you, you have gone through a spiritual awakening. Some of you are at the beginning stages. Some of you, it's taken the whole year. It may have started last year. Some of you two years ago, major ups and downs. And just when you start to see the light at the end of the tunnel, you realize that the light at the end of the tunnel is really a next downfall of where you're going to learn. You realize that there is no road there, but another lesson that you need to learn. but it's all part of your spiritual growth and healing. Some of you may feel as though you still have an attachment to a karmic partner, toxic situations. For some of you, these relationships, the damage has been done that you feel as though you don't know if there's another chance or opportunity to fix things between the two of you. 
And so rather than going in and out of someone's life when you're just afraid of not being able to heal the damage between the two of you, you've chosen to heal yourself. No offense to the partner that's waiting for you to come back in. But healing yourself is where it starts. Because if you don't heal yourself, how can you possibly heal a relationship when there are still pieces of you that you're putting back together? Okay, Capricorn? Let's see. Let's clarify your general energies here. Yeah, see? The death card. You know it. You've been going through it. And maybe that other person that may have been in your life, or maybe this is a friend, family member, coworker. Maybe you're starting to realize that they were part of the reason why you weren't able to start over at some point in your life. You may have been dealing with a Scorpio, an Aries, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But let's see here. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Another seven. Seven of Wands. Eight of Swords. I don't like to take more than two, but these continue the story here. Seven, eight, nine with the Hermit. Five of Pentacles, six of Cups. And there it is, the Page of Swords. So there is someone who is still watching you. Hello, Capricorn Cross Watchers. <laughs> They're still hopeful that something comes up of the two of you returning together. They're still hopeful in hearing from you. I'm not saying you're never going to reach out. I feel as though those of you that have realized and have gained so much clarity from your own healing journey, you've started to realize your own potential from the growth that you've gone through. That anyone that hasn't started their healing journey, that has a tendency to bring in negative energy or argumentative energy, you just don't have the energy and you push them away. You, I'm not putting more work into this. I, I'm going to do me. I'm going to focus on me. And that's all I'm going to focus on. And sometimes we need to do that. Go into hermit mode, even if it means leaving out in the cold those that we care about those that you know we have a strong connection to soulmate energy some there are people from the past that you have left hanging without an explanation without any answers and if this isn't you capricorn this may have been the other way around You, I feel like this is almost like a mess, more of a message for the cross watcher than for Capricorn, because I feel as though you're a cross watcher or whoever this person was that you were dealing with is the one that's really stuck in their head about you, about the connection. And it doesn't have to be romantic. It can be a friend or family member, but it's like, dang, this fool just dropped off the face of the earth, you know? Nobody's heard from you, Capricorn. Nobody knows what you've been doing with your life. You literally just went into hermit mode. You took a step back. You withdrew. And being in your own energy, your solitude, your healing, what people don't realize is that you had been feeling the wear and tear. And you just completely broke down all those pieces of you to get to the core of who you are to build yourself back up. As deep, Capricorn, you really went in it. 
pushing people away, protecting your energy. And it makes people wonder, why aren't they talking to me? Why aren't they entertaining me? That's not like them. And a part of you is kind of hoping they go into hermit mode too. But some of these people are still in their ego where they're going to be like, oh, you're going to leave me on the cold? Well, I'm going to leave you out in the cold too. But guess what? They're still watching you. Again, hello, cross watchers. They're still watching you, Capricorn. They still want to know about you. Maybe they haven't been able to track you down or get a real update. And maybe they're starting to realize that your circle of friends is no longer your circle of friends because they've seen your circle of friends and you haven't been a part of it for quite some time. Maybe they're going to the old haunts, right? Like the places you guys used to go to together. The places that you would always hang out at, be with friends at, partying it up. Your regular spots where just about anybody who knew you knew where to find you. And nobody's seen you there for a while. Because you're doing you, Capricorn. You're healing yourself. You're taking care of yourself. You're loving yourself back to life. And you're protecting all that hard work. All of it. And they could be mad all they want. But once you've realized the power of healing, you no longer tolerate the bullshit. And although you may still feel energetically attached to someone, that's a part of your life that you feel you need to heal. You also have been realizing that there are certain attachments to a way of life or way of living, perhaps in the way that you were raised, certain expectations, because your friends, family members, partner, spouse has put you in that corner of this is what they want from you. No ifs, ands, buts about it. But I feel that you've really come into your own Capricorn. And you don't really care who you leave behind at this point. I'm going to pull Power of Surrender cards because I feel that there's still this little bit of a layer that you need to break free from. That you've been trying to decipher whatever messages, whatever feeling, whatever your intuition has been telling you. So what is Capricorn... That was released to stubborn, released from stubbornness. But what does Capricorn need to surrender to or surrender from? You see? You may have an unhealthy relationship, an unhealthy attachment, but the addiction to healing yourself empowering yourself, spiritual growth, rebalancing, recalibrating your life. And you've got a very clear view of who no longer belongs in your life. Surrender unhealthy relationships. I believe Scorpio also got that and or it may have been Gemini, but I do see Scorpio here, if you are dealing with one. One more, please. One more. That's so funny. Surrender to the beauty of the natural world and surrender to silence, which I feel like you already have. <laughs> but one more card here for Capricorn. Surrender resentment. Part of your healing means forgiving and releasing yourself from it. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward. 
toward positive situations in your life. That's as much of a message to your cross watcher as it is to you. I really, I, I really feel like I'm talking to the Capricorn cross watcher. So let's move on to the love life portion. Although this does feel like this has to do with a love relationship. This can be, you know, friendship, family members. Sometimes our own family can poison us as well. Have certain expectations of us. Don't allow us to be who we are, who we're meant to be with. And they may also not be as supportive as we may need them to be. So let's move on. Okay, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for your love life, December 2019. Straight up single, Capricorns. What is going on with Capricorn singles, December 2019? That is heart-to-heart -heart conversations. However, it did fly out in reverse. So some of you are not having those heart-to-heart -heart conversations. I feel as though you don't feel that the other person you need to have that conversation with is ready to hear it. So you haven't said anything. And let's not forget, Capricorn, you deserve love. You are lovable. I feel as though I've got some Capricorn singles here who may have had a toxic partner in the past. And if you're cross watching and you feel like I'm talking about you and you're getting, you know, upset with me, pump your brakes, okay? Let's just let's just work on our healing. Let's just if it doesn't resonate, let it go. If it's starting to sound familiar and you're getting upset about it, time to take a step back and reflect and really break it down the way Capricorn did. And if it's not Capricorn because they're caught up in their, you know, in their own world, this may be the message for the cross watcher that has already gone through this growth yet still have that curiosity about the Capricorn they may have been involved with. They want to know what's going on with them, but they don't want to reach out for fear of going backwards in their journey and their healing. So I do feel like there is someone here. There's a few of you here, whether it's the Capricorn or the Cross Watcher. Please let me know in the comments below. If this was the cross watcher message and not a Capricorn message, I do feel it's a mixture of both. I feel like we have some stubborn Capricorns here who refuse to work on themselves. And, you know, you are the cross watcher who's been doing it. And you're just like, let me see if they've gotten their shit together yet. Because I'm, I'm on a good one here. Do I let them back in my life or not? What's going on in their life? And I feel like that for some of you cross watchers, you're the one that's already done the healing. And then there are those that are like, what is really going on, right? You go from the three to the four of cups. And you have two twos here, two of wands, two of swords. A lot of stagnation here. You know that you feel that you deserve love. You are lovable. You want to move on to the next phase, the next chapter in your life. Maybe some of you are finally ready to date, ready to... Open up a door to a new relationship, new partnership, new connections. But some of you do feel that you need the closure, but you're afraid to, you know, backtrack if you reopen the door to a, an old partner who is a bit toxic, who has not done the healing the way you have. Okay, Aries. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo. So some of you have been um, waiting for the right opportunity to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. For those of you that are on a break from a partner 
where you both have talked about and have said, let's go our separate ways. We need to take a break. We need to work on ourselves individually and then come back together. You've discovered that now that you have gone through the healing process, now that you are bettering yourself, now that you've found the air of your ways or your own toxic patterns, you may have realized that this relationship from the past caused you nothing but nightmares. You knew it all along, you just didn't want to see it. And I feel as though some of you already knew that the minute you withdrew from this connection, you took a step back, you were going to have a brand new life. You were going to take back control of your life. But I feel that you never really felt as strong enough to start over. You had very deep, strong emotions for someone. You may have taken a break from each other. Or things just didn't work out, but you were in hopes of fixing things. And just like in your general reading, you chose to love yourself first. You chose to heal yourself. And that's exactly what you need to continue doing to be in a better place for you. Now, if this person that you are interested in isn't there yet or hasn't caught up with you yet doesn't mean they're not the one for you it just means they're not the one right now at this moment i feel that there is stagnation in one or both of your lives that's what's blocking is that the two people here in this picture are not on the same level for those of you that are straight up single, you're like, I don't even have that ex. Let me tell you something. There is a partner for you out there that's meant for you who is still going through this and you're clueless about it. One day you're going to meet them. You're going to know their story and you're going to remember this. We all have a story. So let's see. Why are we avoiding the heart-to-heart -heart conversations? What are we waiting for? Waiting for work. Someone may have been in and out of jail, may have been in and out of prison. Some of you work in a prison. There may not be any communication because whether it's the Capricorn or the Cross Watcher, whoever they may have been dealing with, they are imprisoned and I don't feel that they're aware. They'll be getting out soon. You'll be hearing. That's why you haven't seen them. They've been locked up. They come out. They found a new path while they were imprisoned. They come out and they realize, I can't go back to the old. I can't live my life that way. And if that includes not having a relationship with that person from my past because that is the old me, then that's what needs to happen. I need to take back control of my life. I need to be strong enough and keep it together emotionally to start something new. That's what I'm feeling for you Capricorn singles. Let's move on to the couples. I really feel like Capricorn, if it's you coming out of imprisonment, you remember, it doesn't have to be just that you've been locked up, that you've been doing time. Some of you are imprisoned in your own mind, old ways, old habits, toxic relationships, marriages, where you're single but technically married, and you have not been able to cut those ties, cut those cords. Okay, let's move on to Capricorn couples. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign December 2019. Capricorn couples. Keep an open mind and 
Okay, retreat and it came out in reverse. So some of you need to take the time to clear your mind, to be ready for a new beginning. I feel like you may have someone in your life that you're not giving them a fair shot at. If you're recent if you recently started dating someone, you have too many things that are holding you back, weighing you down. You're not realizing the potential between this connection. You're not realizing just how well the two of you maybe get along or have a strong tie or connection to. I also feel that some of you may not be emotionally available or just available, period. Not making time for them. Maybe they don't meet your usual type or expectation. They're nothing like your exes. But that's probably a good thing, Capricorn. Page of, yeah, you're, you're holding back communication. There you are. You're leaving someone out in the cold. I feel like they really care about you and you're just like, eh, whatever, meh, not feeling it. You're in a whole other world, Capricorn. You're dealing with some other shit, the, your own internal struggle. And you still may be cutting ties or, you know, ties with someone from the past. And there's a tug of war because, well, the other person may not be ready to let go. The tower card. It's as though you're trying to avoid or they're trying to avoid the tower moment. And so some of you just may choose to walk away. Create a life for yourself. But you're not realizing, you're not opening your eyes to this person that just might be the one for you. The hermit came out again. So maybe Capricorn, you have Virgo or Scorpio in your chart or you are dealing with one. You may have a fire sign child that you aren't getting along with. Aries Leo Sagittarius running amok. You feel like you can't get away because of the responsibility as a parent. Okay, too many cards are flying out here. Give me a moment. The Temperance, the Two of Wands, and the Two of Cups landed in reverse. One more, please. And there it is, the star card. Okay, we ended it with three majors at the bottom. Four with the tower, but the last three cards were quite important. If you want your son, your absolute dream of a happy life, happiness, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. There's this internal struggle and there may still be a struggle with an ex that you're going back and forth with, especially if you're going over the finances, child support, alimony, custody issues. They see you like Mr. Moneybags, right? Money in the bank or you're the baby mama who's probably doing a whole lot better than baby daddy. And I feel as though they're trying to take more time with the child in order to get more money out of you. And almost as though they're trying to blame you for ending it, walking away from it. You may already have met someone new, but you have not been emotionally available because of all of this that you are going through. You haven't made the time for them. There is a whole lot of happiness waiting for you. This is part of your healing journey. And as much as you feel like you don't want to deal with this person that's giving you a hard time, that you're just like, I'm over it and done with, I'm letting it go. This person brought so much change into your life and so did this child for those of you dealing with this child issue. Others of you, the child issue, well, it's more like a childish person. 
This may be an ex, a friend, a family member who comes in and out of your life, who comes in and just causes a disruption. Tug of war, spend more time with me. I do all this for you. Trying to insert themselves back into your life. You do have someone new in your life. You want to walk away from this situation permanently. You're just not sure how. Because as much as you love and care about this person, there's a dark energy here about it that needs healing. I feel like someone here just doesn't have the energy to deal with it anymore. So let's get to the bottom of this. I want to know about this tower moment. What is this tower moment for Capricorn couples? Yeah, false person. Like there's a lot of anger here. You see that red? That fire? There's a lot of anger here. You realize that maybe this person is isn't all they made themselves out to be. Look at that. Again, if you're dealing with child support, I feel like it's either you're the Capricorn man trying to get more out of baby mama. Vice versa. Someone is someone isn't revealing their true intentions here. This does open up a new beginning, a new path for you. Tell me about keep an open mind and then we'll move on. Sorry guys, I'm just a little bit tired today. So you may miss out on a great opportunity with a new partner because you're, do, you're just too caught up in old shit, bullshit, drama. You may not be ready for what this new person has to say. And I feel as though they're almost going to slap you in the face with it like, you know, I don't think this is the right time for you and us to connect. You haven't made time for me. I never hear from you. I hardly ever hear from you. And you seem really caught up with the ex, the baby mama, the baby daddy, you know, all these personal issues you got going on. And it's almost like a slap in the face when they tell you that because you weren't expecting that. You're not expecting to hear that. Well, you are now because I just gave it away, but you weren't necessarily expecting to hear something like that from them because I feel like you didn't even take them so seriously that you doubted that they took you so seriously that they were as interested in you as they come across and tell you. I do feel that there are new beginnings here and that once this struggle is over and done with, whether it's internally or fighting with someone else, but I definitely feel like you have people fighting for your love, fighting for time with you, fighting for your money, your attention. But someone here isn't being as honest as they should be. And it may be you because you are not telling this person all the stuff you've been dealing with that maybe yes you may be interested in them but maybe you're just not as ready and willing as they are to move on to the next chapter okay capricorn couples let's move on to the healing message so i'm going to pull that heal yourself oracle message for you guys Okay, Capricorns, this is the Heal Yourself Oracle, Oracle deck. The card that comes out is the area in which you need to heal from, release yourself from, in order to clear away any abundance blocks, any blocks to your spiritual growth, emotional growth, well-being, whatever it is that you feel that you really want 
growth and progress in 2020 and beyond. Okay, sexuality for some of you, but as I was saying. So this card for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is what Capricorn needs to heal and release in order to have an abundant, beautiful, prosperous, loving, harmonious new year in 2020 and beyond. What is it that Capricorn needs to heal themselves from and release that block before going into 2020? Issues in the home. Like I said, some of you may still be going through situations in the home with baby mama, baby daddy, your children, stability in the home, going through a divorce, a separation, someone not wanting to give you a divorce or separation, someone not letting you see the kids. There's a lot of pain and heartache. There's a lot that still needs to be worked out. So some of you need to check your egos at the door. And it may not be you, Capricorn. It may be your cross watcher or it may be this ex, whoever it is that you're dealing with. I also feel that some of you are missing home, whatever home is to you, a person, a place, whatever home meant to you growing up. If you have children and you feel like you have not been able to create that home that you want to for your kids, a home that you can come home to and feel at ease, at peace. There's this coldness about your current situation that you really want to change. And I definitely feel Capricorn that you do not want that same energy in 2020. So your 2020 yearly forecast readings are going to start with expanding on this message and how it affects you in the coming year. Okay, Capricorn, thank you guys so, so much for all the love and support. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to double tap that bell so you get notified of the new readings. Your 2020 yearly forecast will be coming out soon. I've got a lot more readings coming for you. Uh, you know, I'm a little bombarded right now. Also, I'm going to, I'm still working on this website. I'm really trying to set up like an appointment system for you guys to book personal readings for those that are interested in. And once that website is up and running, I will put the link in the description box below. Capricorn, I love you guys so much. I wish you the absolute best for the month of December and beyond. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. Have a wonderful rest of the year. We'll see you for your 2020 yearly forecast. Take care. Bye.